Using game engines to make a game? Nah, I used Scratch. How did you understand? Today I'm gonna make a game with Scratch and join that chat army. Also I wanna add another challenge to this. I'm not gonna use internet to learn Scratch. I need to figure it out all by myself. If you're ready, let's start. As I said, today I'm gonna try to make a game with Scratch. Or should I say, I'm gonna try to make a game from Scratch. <laughs> Scratch is a tool for kids to learn code without coding. Whatever, I open the Scratch project and yeah, I see. I remember that cat. You shouldn't make eye contact with him more than 3 seconds. Do you know what happens if you do? If you want to know, be sure to press that like and subscribe button because I don't have a good story yet. If you look to Scratch, this big area is the code area and these things on the left are codes. I basically take this and boom, and let's put move 10 seconds. This is gonna move the cat 10 steps forward when I press space. And yeah, this is basically a scratch. I guess you got the idea. At least that's all I remember. Now I need to make a game and guess what I don't have. So I'm gonna make an arcade game. Goal is destroying objects and place is supermarket. Uh, Okay, I guess like this is garbage, but gave me an idea. It is gonna be a platformer that player needs to reach highest shell in supermarket. Yes, I'm gonna use that environment idea like that. I need an event like when a button pressed, it should go left, and one more for the opposite. And yeah, it works good, but it feels strange. It stops one seconds before move to left and right. And I guess there is no hold option for this event, so we are gonna go with this one. Now I need to make a gravity system. I don't know if there any physics based movement or not, but I guess there is not, so basically gravity is making you move down, so if I change the y over time, it should work. Okay, that's gravity basically, I'm gonna make it minus 3.3, don't ask why. And I make it basically work forever. Last thing player needs is jumping, but while I look for something cool, I found a better way to move character. Do you remember I said it feels strange? It stops 1 seconds before move to left and right. Instead of that shitty movement, now I make player move with mouse. Now player follows the mouse, or should I say, cat follows the mouse. <laughs> you know what is the most important thing in a platformer game? No, it's not a developer who has a will to live. It's not unnecessary. It is platform. Because this is a platformer and I need a sprite for a platform. Basically a box can be okay, but do you know what I found? There is a whole section for sprites that I can use. And at that point, I saw it. I don't even know what it is. Scratch called it cheesy puffs. But that's what my game needs. Fuck off, useless cat. Yeah, now cat is cheesy puffs. Much better. Also, I found a sprite which game called Button, but this is literally what I'm looking for. And it looks like something, but I forgot what it is. If you know what I mean, just press it. I scaled platform and made this little call. This basically spawns these platforms randomly and platforms fall, but there's a little problem. There's no collision and I don't know how I can give collision to these objects. But it's not a big deal. Now I'm gonna give you the biggest developer advice. Advice that every developer uses. If you can't fix it, delete it. So there is no platform anymore and if there is no platform, that means there is no jumping as well. But you can't do this without an excuse. You know why I delete that jump mechanic? No, of course it's not because I don't know how to add collision. You know what is better than cheesy pulse? Cheesy pulse with a rocket. And now the platforms is the objects that you shouldn't hit. Now in the background, unfortunately, Scratch is a background library as well. But there is no supermarket background. So I added most similar one. It was Fridge. There is still no code that killed player and to kill player at least I need to find a trigger event but first... Now if player hits, there's a dead screen. Yeah, I guess that's all I want to make with Scratch. If you like the video, don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe. Also to beat that algorithm, you can drop a comment as well. See you soon.